good morning y'all i haven't vlogged in so long um it is like 7 30 or 8 right now and we are in wilson's playroom he is still in his jammies but i haven't vlogged or done anything in so long my camera was broken so i haven't had a camera for a couple months it's still broken this is a new camera that i'm not sure is gonna work but we're trying it out so anyway just drinking my coffee which i every time i set it like on these shelves i have to panic because he rushes to it so um i have a little diy that i'm going to be using my cricket with so thank you cricket for sponsoring today's video i love having a cricket yeah uh-huh do you want that back on the shelf because whenever i have last minute little things I've used it so many times for like last minute things I need it for like if I want to make a custom t-shirt or just random things like that so I love having it so I'm gonna be making something for Halloween where's your hair <gasps> Wilson where's your belly where's your belly yeah there's your belly <laughs> where's your toes where's your toes yeah they're down there <laughs> miles in the spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll do laundry golden yeah okay so for my sheets I just started using borax or anything white but I want to put it in this drawer and get um like a little scooper so I might do that today but I've kind of organized our laundry space obviously it's like random stuff still oh also this is called phil's phil's napa things um bar it's like 79 cents and i use that on stains and it usually works really well as long as i catch it um yeah so i love that but anyway that's hopefully gonna make my sheets white i've never this is my first time like actually using borax so it's a big laundry day i have this whole pile which is mostly towels and like large sweaters this pile and then the one I just threw in the washer, I mean in the dryer, so I have lots of loads today. Welcome to our bathroom with terrible lighting and a dirty mirror. We actually painted this bathroom. It was a teal and they let us paint it white, which was great because the color was, wow. But the lighting is still so, um, it's like cold. I don't know. It's not, it's like hospital lighting, so I just don't like to look in this mirror very much. But I'm trying this new thing, groundbreaking, putting makeup on and also um, doing my hair, brushing my hair, I should say. I don't normally brush my hair, but I'm gonna try it. I actually really wanna like chop my hair. Normally I let it grow for like a year and then I cut it, but anyway, I wanna cut it. I need some advice because currently my baby hairs are insane, but I'm using this stuff that I got from Walmart. Here, they put that stuff on my hair and it makes it oily because it's like a oil. So if anyone has like things to tame flyaways that is not like oily, let me know because I need it. I need help. Very fall little outfit today. Got your little orange shirt and your brown overalls. You ready to get dressed? Let's get your other arm. View with my eyes still closed, feel it coming. Golden, golden, I'll follow on the And golden. then you shake it all about. You shake it all golden. about. Golden, golden. Oh, do you see yourself? Yeah. Do you see yourself? Can you, can you say hi? I need a haircut. Yes. Let's see. Ah. You see your hats? You want your hats? Mom will high five. Get your, your hat. Yeah. You gonna put your hat on? Oh, good try. Do you want some help? Do you want some help? What's up, cutie pie? Oh, okay. Bye, hat. I simply always forget to put him in his real clothes until after he's eaten, but I forgot. And we were gonna do banana pancakes with the Kodiak stuff, but today we're just having run for I'll have banana pancakes with this Kodiak mix later. But for now, I'm just having granola and Greek yogurt with raspberries because that's all I have time for and I'm so hungry. Okay, so I think we're gonna head to Target because at Wilson's doctor, oh, you're sleepy. At his doctor's appointment yesterday, the doctor said that he could start brushing his teeth. So he actually loves brushing his teeth, but he tries to use our toothbrush. Um, so he's gonna love that, I think. Should we go get you some toothpaste and toothbrush? Yes. 
Let's go. Let's go outside. Uh, outside. Uh, yeah, he loves to point to the door. Uh, All the Christmas stuff. Oh, he really wants this. Okay, these are so cute. Five dollars. Oh my gosh. That's, that's very, very cute. Huh. So cute. Everything is so cute. Oh, here's a bell. Love it. I'm gonna start making my little uh, trick or treat bowl. I really wanted one that was cute, but I just could not find one at the store, so that's why I'm making one. Um, but I'm really excited for how it's gonna turn out. I've done something like this before for Wilson's birthday, and I thought it turned out really sweet. So I'm excited to do it with this, and I think it'll be cute also. I could use, um, I'm gonna make like a little banner that says trick or treat, and I think this would also be cute like next year on a wreath or something like in the middle. Um, I think this would be really cute. So I'm really excited to make it. Um, but yeah, I also, if I found a different bowl, I thought about doing this is doing just like the vinyl that they have. I've done it a lot with other items and it's more permanent. So that's kind of why I'm leaning more towards what I ended up doing. Um, and the vinyl is really nice because it can just stick on. I've used that before in projects, but I do really like the iron on because like I said, with this specific thing, it can be a little bit more, um, temporary and then i can reuse it for other things because i just use it for so many like last minute projects like this um when i'm in a bind i did a lot for wilson's birthday i've done like random shirts and just like events and stuff you can really customize okay so for today's project i'm just going to be using my cricut maker y'all have seen me use this before um it's the best i love it so much and then i'm just going to be using the light grip then i have um, my little scraper tool, my weeding tool, and then I'm just using my iron-on vinyl, um, which is perfect for this project. And then also I'm gonna be using some fabric to make this little banner thing. So, so first thing I'm gonna do is go to Cricut Design Space. I love Cricut Design Space. Look, there's so many fun things you can use. Um, these are all the ones that I've used in the past. But I'm gonna do a new project, and I'm just gonna be using text. Um, I know I want it to say trick, well, trick or treat, but now I want to find like a spooky, I don't know if I can even like find a spooky one, but, uh, this looks very, um, Halloween-esque, but I don't know if I want to go that route. I might just go like more cute. Like, okay, so I decided to do a little bit of extra spacing in between my letters. So it kind of spreads it out because I have room all the way up to nine. So this is what i'm gonna go with so now i'm just going to set my computer up to my cricket all right and so after i have it all hooked up i'm just gonna hit make it and can it double check and make sure everything is lined up right here just want to make sure all my numbers are lined up and then i can just load this in and then with the vinyl i want to make sure i hit mirror hit everyday iron on it has all the list of materials on here and load it and then it'll just start blinking we hit that and then it'll get to work so I will just use my weeding tool and pick off the fab I mean the um, vinyl and then I will slowly start peeling it back and I'll use my weeding tool throughout the whole process to get all the little things but I just go pretty slow and I keep it stick sticking to the board okay sorry all the hair <laughs> that's stuck on there um and I'll just peel it I finished weeding it and I think it turned out so cute I think this is the font I pick literally every single time I do something but I just love it um, so now I just need to iron this on a ton of this extra cream fabric and I put it on here and I think it's going to look so cute. I'm going to kind of have these like hanging down. So now I just need to iron this on. Use my Cricut iron and set it to the right temperature for the fabric that I'm going to be using. And then it will just heat up and it has this little protectant um, thing underneath it. So it's really nice. Also comes with a little pad so you're not ironing right on anything else. So now that it's time it done ironed on I always just peel the corner and see if it sticks and if it sticks I let it kind of completely cool before I remove it just so I know that it is really stuck on there okay and then this is the little bowl I think it turned out so cute now I just need to fill it up with 
our candy for trick or treaters. Wilson likes it. I think it turned out really cute. So I'm excited to use this for Halloween. I love having a playroom because then he, I just get to watch him play from the kitchen. Are you playing so good? Okay, I forgot to vlog in the thrift store, but I found exactly what I was looking for. I wasn't in there for very long, but I did manage to find a few other things. This little monkey suit, and it was so cute on Wilson. I tried it on the store. It's four to five T, but it it works perfectly fine. I don't know if we're actually gonna go trick or treating. Let me know if y'all want trick or treating. If your kid was like a little over one, he's walking and stuff, but obviously he can't say trick or treat. I don't even know. And then. I found the cutest little cute bomber jacket and it's $4.99. Isn't that the cutest thing? I just could not pass that up. It's adorable. So this like reminds me of Zara, but I like it better because it's like older and I don't know, not, you know, 50 bucks from Zara. And then this was a cute little um, older, you know, probably 90s or whatever gap sweater and this is actually three years but it's definitely shrunk so it'll fit wilson now it's a little v-neck which is kind of funny but i think that's really cute and then i couldn't help myself i <laughs> collect like little tiny things so these are little swim trunks i actually wanted these for wilson um but i found them in a tiny size and then i also found this sweet tiny little hannah anderson like pin what is that called pintanella Thing. I don't know. I mean, I know I'm gonna have more BBs. So anytime I see something cute and tiny, I have to get it. And then for Wilson, oh, I'll show you. Do you guys want to see what I got him for Christmas? Okay, this isn't like his only present, but um, he's playing in his playroom right now. Uh, I got him these. I don't know if you can tell, but they are like little. What is that material? That corduroy material, and they're so stinking cute. There's bananas and apples and. A little knife it's so cute so I'm so excited about this because I have been wanting to get him some sort of fruit and vegetable and they're like 60 bucks from cute websites if you don't want to get like plastic ones and this was such a good deal I'll try to find this maybe on Amazon because I'm sure it will be not as expensive this was only ten dollars so that was a good deal and then also I really my mom is super good at doing stockings and really into stockings so me and my brother's like that's our favorite part so I am like trying to start being a better stocking person even though he doesn't know yet but you know I got him this little wood car for a stocking and I'm gonna find like other cute things to put in there too and then from Target they had their Christmas stuff out so if you're not into like Christmas yet that's fine um the dollar section had these wood Christmas trees which last year I'll settle my trees up that I got um these were three dollars they're smaller and then um I'm gonna spray paint these a different color um because I don't like the black and green and then I got more of these I have so many bottle brush trees um but I just thought that these were really cute some smaller ones and then I liked this color one it's like a gold and then this one so these were five dollars which I might return them. I just know that last year I bought some like this from their dollar section and they sold out really fast and then I couldn't find any like it again. I know that um, Joanne Fabrics has these and I think they're like maybe 10 bucks each for ones this size. And then I'm trying to think where else I saw them. I don't know, but they're really cute. Um, so I love those. And then I got another stocking because I thought this one was really pretty and I can't remember if Wilson has a stocking or not. No, he must have a stocking. And then I got Wilson a toothpaste and a toothbrush and I was like, you know what? I was going to get him just like a regular toothbrush, but this was a set. This was $8, which toothpaste alone is $4. So like $4 each. So I don't know if that was a great deal, but it was really cute packaging and it got me. It's called Jack and Jill 100% natural toothpaste no fluoride yada yada so i'm really excited for Olson to try this tonight because he loves brushing his teeth so oh isn't this pillow cute that i got it's like a vintage kalem pillow like the this is like an old fabric and they turn it into a pillow but so it's called kalem i don't even know if i'm saying that right i have one on my bed but then i got like obsessed with getting them and this is so uncomfortable like i cannot lay with that but it's a really cute pillow but that 
I got on Macari with another one that's in our room. Anyway, just was thinking about that. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I am just gonna fold some laundry. I have a big, a big basket right there. And then y'all saw me put in a few more loads. So I have quite a bit of laundry to do and our sheets and our comforter are drying. We'll leave Cricut's stuff linked down below so y'all can go check them out. Thank you again to them for working with me on this video. I've loved working with them in the last couple of videos. Do you want to come say bye? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. <gasps> come here. Oh, do you see Christmas trees? Do you see Christmas trees? Oh my goodness. I'm also putting in a ton of stuff away right now. <gasps> do you want to say bye? Can you say bye? See you later. Yeah.